My name is Serena Nudell, and I'm the manager of mental health and wellness at Access Alliance Multicultural Health and Community Services. Access Alliance has been serving the most vulnerable immigrants, refugees, and their communities for over 30 years now. In 2016, we had an influx of Syrian refugees in Toronto, and because of Access Alliance's experience working with newcomer and refugee communities, we were on the front lines of providing services and support. We were seeing a lot of mental health challenges amongst the Syrian refugees because of trauma and violence they experienced in their country, as well as the stressors of migration. We were looking into ways that we would be able to support them, particularly ways that they'd be able to connect with. And because of Access Alliance's experience providing expressive arts as a medium to provide mental health supports, we thought that this could be a medium that the clients would really connect with. If we were able to combine art therapy with a settlement worker who speaks Arabic, we'd really be able to connect with women and provide them both settlement services as well as art therapy to support their wellness and really reduce impacts of social isolation that we so often see with newcomer communities. I started to do research online and I came across Alexandra. Uh, she had done a literature review on why she thought that art therapy would be a benefit to Syrian refugee women. And traditional embroidery has been used for many years with um, people living in the Levant region. And so she saw a benefit here that this would help women tell their stories. Through offering workshops where women are embroidering, oftentimes settlement-related challenges come up, and Mariam is there and able to answer those questions and talk about ideas and strategies to support the settlement and integration of the women in the group. So my name is Miriam Spanos. I'm a settlement worker at Access Alliance. My role to support the program is doing communication and outreach, uh, program coordination, interpretation, and settlement support through workshops or one-on-one -on -one if they had questions. So the challenges that Syrian and Arabic refugees experience would include pre-migration stressors that would include the death and loss of loved ones, as well as loss of their homeland, loss of their homes, exposure to trauma, war, and we have post-migration stressors. This would include language barrier, which makes it very difficult for them to communicate with healthcare providers. I'm Alexandra Hanania. I am an art therapist and I run embroidery art therapy groups at Access Alliance for Newcomer Women. Art therapy is a type of psychotherapy. Only we use art as a medium for self-expression, for working through our emotions, especially when it's difficult to talk things out, when we can't find the words to describe how we feel. Art really is that way of expressing the things that we can't express verbally. We wanted to create a group that allowed the women to come together and create community and also connections with the other women because a lot of the women are actually spread out around Canada and Toronto, so it makes it very difficult for them to connect with each other. We also wanted to be able to give them a chance to um, have this connection back to their homeland and their home culture, but also to create a new connection to their homes in Canada. So the embroidery helps them connect to their homeland and the, and the fabric and textile arts that belong there, but they can do different themes and projects in their pieces. So um, some of their pieces are about their families, some of their pieces are about loving and being gracious be for being in Canada, um, and some of them are about loss and reminiscent of their, their homeland that has been taken away from them. Oh. 
They have different types of needs. So, for example, some would need assistance to navigate the social uh, system. Uh, for example, they were not fortunate uh, to secure employment, so help them to connect them with social assistance. Some, if they have any type of disability, to connect them with Ontario Disabled Support Program, as well as uh, connecting them uh, with the drug coverage, the Trillium uh, drug program, helping them to sign up for that. Uh, some need assistance to navigate the educational system, help them to sign up for certificates. Uh, for example, some are interested in obtaining uh, childcare assistance certificates, so helping them find the courses they, uh, they need. Uh, some are interested in volunteer opportunities. One thing that's really important when you are working with people who've experienced trauma is to practice empathy, really trying to understand where people are coming from and ensuring that you create a space where they can express themselves safely and that you are able to respond to any experiences that they might be going through. As the art therapist, I want to make sure that I'm coming from a cultural humility perspective. Mm -hmm. And I'm also trying to make sure that there is a space for the women to express themselves culturally in any way that they want to. If that means that we make sure that there's a space for them to pray, then that's what we do. We make sure that the food that we provide meets their dietary restrictions. So to make sure the program is accessible, we make sure to provide them with childcare and TTC tokens, as well as for sure interpretation, and making sure the timing is convenient for them. And we have Arabic speaking outreach worker, as well as Arabic speaking settlement worker, which is, and for this case, it's me. So the evaluations actually showed a few different things. We discovered that the women found that the embroidery group decreased their sense of loneliness and um, decreased social isolation, which was a really important thing. We really wanted um, that sense of community to be built. And so many of the women actually expressed that they created new friendships and they had like so much fun meeting the other women. And that was really, that was really special. <laughs> They would talk about their families and their relationships, and um, they would sta share their migration stories with each other and help each other like finish their projects. When one of them needed to, new to learn a new stitch, another one would show them how to do that. My name is Shaibi, I'm from Syria. I'm أحاول قدر الإمكان إني أعطي خبرتي وأعطي النصيحة للبنات الموجودات أول نقطة بتعلق عليها إنه هم حسوا بالرياحة بهذا البرنامج لأنه رجعوا مرة تانية عادوا كان العام الماضي موجود البرنامج والسنة رجعوا لعنده فحسوا أولا بفائدة بمهارة مهنية مهارة مهنية بالإضافة إلى إنه صاروا القدرة على التعبير الأفكار والموجودة بداخلهم عبروها عن طريق الرسم عن طريق الشغل اليدوي أنا كثير سعيدة معهم وهم أظن سعيدين يعني إحنا نترقب الموعد من أسبوع لأسبوع لحتى نرجع نجتمع أنا اسمي مريم وأنا مشتركة بالمجموعة مجموعة التطريز عندي ذكريات إنه أنا صغيرة كنت كان جارتي خياطة وبتطرز كنت أحب أروح وأقعد عندها حتى وأشوفها كيف عم بتطرز كيف عم بتخيط وكنت أحب من أنا صغيرة أني أتعلم هذا الشيء وهلأ أتحقق حلمي وعم بتعلم التطريز <تصفيق> اسمي مريم حسينو دوري بالمجموعة مشتركة للبروغرام الثاني يعني مرة أنا اخترت القطعة اللي عم اشتغلها اسم أمي أنا أمي توفت وكنت بعيدة عنها الله يرحمها بقى مشان هيك أنا كثير أمي غالية لي ودايما بتذكرها صار لها 17 سنة ميتي بس أنا وفقدنا وطننا وفقدنا أمنا لذلك كثير أنا حبيت هاي القطعة اللي عم اشتغلها عملتها بشكل قلب واسم أمي وكتبت كمان بالعربي أمي وكتبت ومن مثل أمي هلا أنا عم بشتغل هذا اسم أمي 
فدايما هي حاضرة لو ماتت هي بس هي حاضرة بذاكرتي وكمان أمنا الثانية الأم الكبيرة سوريا كمان فقدناها فأنا بحس الأم هي الوطن وهي كل شيء يعني بحياتنا ففقدنا التنتين هيك هاي أنا حبيت أمول هيك يعني كل ما شفتها مثلا افتخر فيها البسها بعد ما زوج قلت أنا عملتها يا مثلا في ناس ما تصدق هذا لأنه آه أنا اسمي كولستان عبدو وأنا بشترك بمجموعة التطريز أنا هذا التطريز علمته بسوريا وأنا وكنت طفلة كانت أمي تجيب لي قماش وأنا كنت أشتغل وكنت أشتغل من التعب بأشتري الخيطان ويعني كنت أتعب فيه كتير وأشتغل وأفرح أمي وأفرح أما لأمي ستي لي ستي هاي تعلمتها بسوريا الله يرحم أنتي كانت تشتغل قدامنا وتحاول تعلمنا لأنه هذا الشيء من ذكرياتنا نحن وقت البنت تطلع من بيت أبوها لازم تكون بشتغل هيك شغلات يعني هاي شيء من الذكريات قديمة اسمي سميرة محمد الأحمد أنا دوري بالمجموعة مشتركة مثل كل العالم مثل كل هالجروب يعني عم أشتغل على هاي القطعة يلي هي بترمز للعاصمة تبع بلدي دمشق الماضي دمشق الحاضر اللي لسه ما بلشت فيه اللي هي كندا وبداية حياة جديدة إن شاء الله هاي القطعة بتعني للماضي يلي هي دمسكس أو دمشق والحاضر اللي لسه ما بلشت فيه لسه يعني حابلش فيه إن شاء الله قريباً اللي هي كندا الورقة تبع الماربل تبع كندا تعني لي الحياة الجديدة بداية حياة جديدة إن شاء الله الروح الرياضية الرياضية عند الكل السمايل الحلوة اللطيفة عند الكل مساعدة الجميع لبعضهم <تصفيق>